Mike Costa joins us today on Monday to recap Wild Car Weekend and the NFL. Oh, Michael, good morning to you. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I am well. We're going to work chronologically. I know you want to talk mostly about the Raiders because, boy, did they lay an egg. But let's not. <laughs> let's work backwards, starting with the Steelers in Kansas City. Uh, it was expected to be a blowout, and a blowout it was. Yeah, you know, there's just, uh, you, you, I think we're starting to see a little bit of the passing of the torch in some areas of the uh, the NFL. And, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs, even though they started out slow this year, as far as that offense is concerned, they are absolutely uh, rolling. They give up the defensive touchdown, you know, early in this game last night, but then Mahomes and, and company had their way. This uh, one, I believe it was your humble host here who said, that the NFC West was so much better than the NFC East. I didn't care what the matchup was. The West was going to win. That gave the uh, the Cowboys the ball in plus territory. This probably was going to be a uh, um, a wipeout. This is a 49ers team that you know. I don't know if we if we can let that video roll. I don't know if we have the last sequence. But everyone's talking about Cowboys coming down to the stretch, and they run the ball with time running out, and can't get off the final play. Your your thoughts about that? Well, you know, everybody knows that the uh, I think it's the back judge or the field judge or whoever, you know, has to touch that football and spot it before you can snap it. And if you're Dak Prescott on that last run, you have to know where that that official is for running play. Dak should have known, hey, in his head as the clock is tipping, uh, ticking down, get down sooner, give your team more uh, time to get set to snap the ball and, and clock it. It really that's a head scratcher. And that's one of those things that if you're Jerry Jones, you're thinking long and hard about Mike McCarthy as your head coach. Not that he's going to get fired, but really that's your that's your best bet and your quarterback didn't know more to get down sooner. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tom Brady seems to be in Super Bowl form, does he not? Oh, in, incredible. Incredible yesterday. Yeah, he does. And whatever whatever fountain of youth he found, It'd be nice before he leaves this earth if he can share it with the rest of the world. Because this guy, I mean, Paul, he literally is just getting better as he gets older. He is the NFL's greatest wine. Yeah, when you but, think of but he sleeps in a hyperbolic chamber. He eats bar. They went into uh, Cincinnati. The, uh, this, I guess, would be the other interesting game to watch. Uh, uh, but they come up short, and Cincinnati wins their first playoff game at home in 31 years. You know what? You know, everyone's talking about the inadvertent whistle and how that officiating crew blew it. Tonight was the better team Saturday. And yeah. congratulations to the Bengals for moving on and finally getting that playoff win. And boy, did the Patriots get smoked. Well, that was about 20 years of frustration that the <laughs> Buffalo Bills took out on New England. And, and I think all of them of the, the Patriots being being overmatched. And like I said, you know, the Bills were the whipping boy for so long in the AFC East when Brady was with the Patriots. So that was a lot of frustration coming out. Every mobile quarterback pays for it eventually, though. That you watch when they need him most, oh, yeah. he's he's going to get his bell rung, and and he still is. Uh, Allen is the he's he can't hit the broad side of a barn. He's, it's, it's his mobility <laughs> that makes him tough. He he's not a very accurate quarterback, so. I'm still not sold on him. Hey, uh, we have one more game. This whole deal, uh, we have a Monday night game. Eric Weddle coming out of retirement. Your thoughts? I, it's fantastic for him. I mean, he may not have the speed that he had when he first joined the NFL, but I'm telling you, if for a team that wants a quarterback in the secondary, you couldn't find a better guy than than Eric Weddle. He'll help them um, immensely. And I love I love the, the super wild card weekend, although – most of the games weren't super; they were blowouts. But if you're an NFL fan, three straight days, uh, three straight days of win or go home doesn't get any better than what we've got tonight. Uh, ending with tonight, the Rams and the Cardinals. I would agree, only, but I would disagree with the seventh seed because adding the two teams that don't really deserve to be in the postseason, all it made yeah. for was even more lopsided matchups. So, I, I don't mind the three games, but I would stagger or the three days of football. But I think I'd get rid of the seventh seed being in. You know, it, we both know the NFL makes up the rules as they go on, and they'll look at what the revenue was, how many people watched the games, how many people stayed locked into those games where the seventh seeds got killed. 
and they'll you know they'll they'll adjust on the fly like they they always do. Plus, it's going to be a competitive disadvantage for whoever wins tonight. Is going to be having to play a road game on one day's less pr preparation than than the team that they're going to like. Buccaneers are going to make out like a bandit in this. Yeah, that, it, that's very true. And I think for all the people that don't want to see Tom Brady uh, back in a Super Bowl, just remember. The Packers have home field advantage, and it's not getting warmer in Green Bay. It's <laughs> getting colder as the weeks go by. You know that. Yes. So I can, that's the one saving grace. I can, all right. Well, hey, uh, thank you for uh, making an early appearance. I'll see you on Friday, and Lord knows what we'll talk about, but we'll find something. All right, brother. Have a good week.